Now to a fiery fight over immigration, and it isn't Arizona this time, it's Connecticut. The mayor of New Haven, Connecticut, is proposing a new plan. His plan would allow illegal immigrants to vote. Yes, to vote in their local elections. Mayor John DeStefano says immigrants should be given a say in their community, but State Senator Andrew Rohrbeck calls the plan un-American, unpatriotic, and unacceptable. Now, we invited Mayor DeStefano to appear on our program. He declined. State Senator Rohrbeck joins us. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, Greta. All right. I, I know you, you hate this, the thought that uh, someone in this country um, who's not a citizen, someone who's here illegally, would have a right to vote in local elections. So tell me how this is unfolded. Well, Greta, I don't think any of us could believe our ears when the mayor of Connecticut's second largest city said, and he believes it, that the right thing to do would be to confer upon people that are in this country unlawfully the most precious right that we as Americans enjoy, the right to vote. I think it really blew almost everyone away in the state of Connecticut that this idea could be coming from an elected official of such stature. It, and there was one part that I read. It said that the mayor compared it to uh, letting African Americans and women vote, saying that we let African Americans essentially af that that uh, there's no reason why illegal uh, people here, immigrants, should non-citizens should not be able to vote, since we let uh, Amer uh, African American and women. The major difference, of course, that was not part of the discussion is that African Americans and women are citizens. Yeah, and the rule of law. If if the rule of law means anything in this country. It means that you don't reward people who break the law by giving to them the most precious right that Americans enjoy. It just turns the Constitution on its head and offends really every, every bone in my body that we should even contemplate uh, this kind of uh, reward. It you know, it's not unheard of. It's, I mean, there are a couple places, I think, in Maryland and, and local municipalities where um, people who are not citizens can vote. But I'm sort of curious, um, is there, are people, uh, con is this going to happen in Connecticut, or is there enough uh, pushback on it uh, from your position, or is this going to happen? No, it's not going to happen in Connecticut. I, I, opposition is growing every day. And there's a distinction to be drawn, Greta. For people that are in this country lawfully, people that have green cards, you can make a strong case that they ought to be able to vote on a school budget, things like that. But what the mayor is proposing is that people who are here because they broke the law should be given the right to vote. And that is something that doesn't, even the most progressive of people recognize that that is an affront to every American value. Does the, does the mayor have any uh, support? Well, a couple of state legislators stood by his side when he made this proposal. But other than that, it seems that uh, even members of his own party uh, are frowning on this idea as not being something that's in keeping with what the people of Connecticut deserve or expect. Senator, thank you very much. Uh, we'll follow it. And, and people should go to GretaWire.com and tell me what they think about this as well. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Coming Greta. Up